Yeah, hi, I'm Stuart, and I thought I'd show you through how I've wired my uh, LNG uh, 8.2 kilowatt inverter. Uh, it's wired into a, a cupboard at the moment. Uh, I'll show you through the way I've got it integrated in. But basically, the um, inverter's sat there running away at the moment. Uh, it's taking power from the solar panels and uh, charging the battery and running the house. So uh, at the bottom, you can see where my battery connections come in. I'll show you the battery box in a minute. And also underneath where the solar um, connectors come into the bottom of the inverter. What I've done here is to um, wire up a um, distribution box um, all, all on its own. Uh, basically this just holds a set of switches. Um, they, they're on off switches and basically allow me to isolate uh, completely the inverter if I need to service it at all. So basically all the, um, the in and the out cable uh, you could just run straight back to the distribution box but I've actually put it through a set of uh, isolators here just to, to make it easy to work on, etc. Um, the um, solar isolators as well, they've got to be DC at the far end. Uh, but again, the cables just loop from the inverter up through the distribution box on off switches or the breakers just there. And then out, I must tidy this up and, and up towards the roof. Um, so that's how it's, it's wired in. In terms of the distribution box itself, uh, the cables um, come around the other side here, I'll show you. And what I've, what I've done here is to um, wire up the um, inbound mains electricity. It comes in from a normal sort of meter and normal UK supply and it runs into a distribution box here. Uh, I've deliberately over engineered it to a certain extent, but what I did was to uh, include a, um, a smart meter so I can meter this myself uh, rather than uh, what the um, energy industry told us tell what's going on. So I've got my smart meter here that will tell me what's going on. I've got a high current uh, set of services here where I'm going out towards a spa and a hot tub. I've got the laundry services and the actual input feed to the inverter sat here. And all these are taken off the, the mains rather than the inverter uh, because they're basically, they're, they're huge load. I've got here then an automatic transfer switch that basically allows me to power um, the house. The house is, is standard distribution to a certain extent off the top rail. And this switch here switches that top rail between the utility service and the inverter. So at the moment it's switched to the inverter, so everything's running off the, um, the um, solar. And as you can see down here, I'm only actually drawing 12 watts of power from the grid. Um, I'll show you in a minute the inverter, you know, the house sits normally at about 600, 500, 600 watts. That's pretty good. You know, 10, 10 watts to run the inverter itself is, is not bad. Um, and then at the top, um, it's, a, it's a normal house. It, it, it's all the normal house services that, that you get, the sockets, the cooker, the studies, the lights, all the other bits and pieces. And basically they're just switched uh, the output this transfer switch comes up and it goes and, and powers this top rail so so that's the way it comes in um i say it comes into the inverter and the final bit i'm missing uh i'm showing you really are the um is the battery box uh, and what i'll do is I'll, I'll quickly run you outside to the other side of the wall and just show you where the uh the battery box is just uh, located and that is um around here outside uh because they're led out to batteries and, and in here is what I've got is a, um, a set of, of uh, leisure batteries um, and, and a charge balancer. And the charge balancer just makes sure that uh, yeah, I'm spreading the, the, the uh, charge and the load uh, efficiently across all the batteries. Uh, the, the meter is just left there by me just to just make sure I can, I can uh, see what's going on for the time being. We'll clear it out. But that's the uh, battery out, um, bank. Uh, 48 volts, uh, 100 amp hours. Um, should be, could be, you know, um, four kilowatts or four units of power. That's it.